everyone. Welcome, welcome to Steam Lab Saturday. We are going to make a Newton's Cradle together. Um, let me s switch to a different camera and you can see what a Newton's Cradle looks like if you haven't seen one before. So we'll switch to um, another camera. You pull one of the marbles out. <gasps> Whoa, super cool, right? So momentum goes through and knocks the other marble out on the other end. So that's what we'll be making today. We're going to make a Newton's Cradle, right? So it's named after a very famous scientist, Sir Isaac Newton, very, very famous scientist. And so that's what we're gonna be making today. I'll leave that there. Let's, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over all of our um, materials. So we'll go over everything step by step, and then we'll just jump in and start making our Newton's Cradle together. We've got our marbles. You only need six, six marbles, some jumbo, these are jumbo craft sticks. The bigger ones are better. Um, some string, We've got scissors, a ruler, um, pencil, and also I am using a Sharpie to mark my string. So you can, if you have a marker or a Sharpie, that would be helpful. Glue sticks, and then I have my little glue gun right here. Again, so if you're working, if you're a little one and you're working with this, please make sure that there's a grown up there because the glue gun is super hot. Oh, and tape. Here's my tape. So those are the um, all the materials that we'll be using today for our steam lab. Step one is to take four hot glue sticks. I'm sorry, four um, craft sticks. So we'll take four of them. And then we're going to glue them to, to the corners to together to make a square. So how you do that is you take one like this and then add some glue on the end and then glue on the other end. Okay. And then you take your one stick and then just kind of press it down on that little blob of glue that you made. And take the other one and then do the same. So it should look like kind of like a U, and then we'll flip it over. And then put glue on both of those ends, and then we'll put the stick over it like that. Yeah, the Newton Cradle demonstrates the scientific idea of momentum. That's what's going through the marbles when you pull it across. So momentum is the force of an object as it moves. So when you swing one of the marbles on one end, it collides with the marbles on the all the way through each of the all of the marbles and then it makes the other one pop out. Pretty cool. Okay, we've got a square. We're going to make another one. So set that one aside right here and then we'll take four craft sticks out again. And we'll make another one. Do the same thing. This one's a little wobbly. Okay. See how when it collides with the marble, ne each marble collides with the marble next to it, and the force of that collision travels through the whole set of marbles till it gets to the end. And then we see the other one bounce up, pop up. Pretty cool. Force has to go somewhere until it's dissipated, right? Until it dissipates, it keeps going through all the marbles. Flip it over, put glue here and glue here. And put that one on nice and careful not to get any hot glue on your hands. It's kind of And then if you notice when the marble goes back down on the end, the momentum goes back through, and then the one that you lifted the first time goes back up again. Pretty cool. Okay, so now we have two squares. These are the sides of our frame of the Newton's cradle. This, these are the sides, okay? So now we're going to glue the sides together. So this part's a little bit trickier, but fun. So we're going to take another 
So we're gonna take, it's gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna glue these, the bottom corners together and the top corners together. Okay. And when you're using hot glue, sometimes you kind of have to wait a while, maybe count to 10 while the glue hardens, dries a little bit. So I'm gonna go like this. So I put some glue there and I'm just gonna take it and go, do, 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 wait a little while. Yeah, Sir Isaac Newton was an English mathematician, physicist, astronomer, scientist, author. Um, and yeah, he was the founder of um, a lot, uh, calculus, I guess he, he discovered calculus, he developed calculus. And he worked on the principles of visual light. He talked, he liked um, about light and the laws of motion and gravity, which um, today we're learning about the laws of motion. He worked with the science of gravity as well. Oh. All right, hold that one there for a little while. Do, do, do. And sometimes you might need to add extra <laughs> if it's not that strong. But we can, it feels like it's, it's settling now. Okay, and then I'm just gonna turn it over and do the other side. Actually, I'm going to add a little right here because it feels a little bit wobbly there. Okay. A lot bit wobbly. <laughs> okay. So we'll add... You can, um, and then for this part, you can add them at the same time, add the hot glue at the same time and kind of just gently place it on top. I think it's probably dry. Flip it over. And then when you work with hot glue, you get these hot glue strings around. You just pull those off. Okay, cool. And then we'll do the other one too. So we need a cube, kind of like a cube. And it's just to make it stable. I added these, the, the top part, the two top part on the sides just to kind of make it more stable. And then you should be able to just tilt it up. Oh, mine's a little wobbly. That's okay, it'll still work. Okay. It's a little bit wobbly, that's okay. Okay, then we're gonna take six of these, six more, and then glue them across the bottom. I'm gonna fix this one because it's a little bit wobbly. Oh, it's fine, it's okay. So we take six and then glue them across the bottom, like that. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but again, I like for stability. To put it on for stability so that's what we're gonna do okay so we'll take it off and then I put like a little glue on this side over here and then some glue over here
put that one down. You can put a long line of glue if you want to across the whole end edge and then put it down, but you have to put it down pretty quick. You have to work quick because the glue dries pretty fast. Maybe I could do two. Let's see if I could do two. Okay. Yeah, I made mine pretty wobbly. That's the thing with kind of experimenting in science is uh, if you make it one way, the next time you make it, you can, um, you know, make corrections to your design. So I made mine a little bit off, but that's okay. it'll still work. Okay, and the last one right there. All right. I can correct the wobble by putting like some duct tape underneath it or something like that. I'm already thinking about how I can fix that. Okay, so we've got our, um, we're done with this is all the first part. We're done with the first part. So we can set this aside. Now we're going to use our string. We need our string. We're going to cut six equal pieces of string approximately eight inches long. So that's what we need our ruler for. So I'm sorry, it might be a little bit hard to see on camera because of the color of the desk, but um, we're gonna cut six equal pieces, approximately eight inches long. So there's the eight, and then I'm just gonna cut it right about there. Also mark it with a marker if you want to and then cut it you know when you put a little spot for the at the end of the ruler if you want to do that we've got three pieces we need three more okay And our last piece. Okay. And then we're going to find the center of our string. And I'm going to mark it with, um, we should be. So half of eight, right in the center, that would be four. So I'm just going to put a little dot there. That's where I know to glue my marble. Okay, all right. We're gonna grab our hot glue gun again and then we're gonna glue um, the, marble, the marble to the string, okay? So this is, which I, this, what I like to do is take the marble, put a lip, like a dollop of hot glue on top of the marble and then kind of find where the dot is and then place it down, pick it up, and kind of, there it goes. Make sure it's nice and sitting in the hot glue, and then I kind of wait a while, just wait a little. Or so you can set it down and do that with another one. So glue on top of the marble, and then 
find the mark, the center mark, and then pick up the string, and then just make sure it's on there, and then you can set it down. It dries pretty quick. Another one. Again, try not to touch the glue that's hot. Oof, that one doesn't want to stand up, does it? That's okay. All right. Last one. Okay. Kind of let those cool. Oof, we got a lot of hot glue strings going on here. Got some on the table. That's okay. Okay, our next step, while these are waiting to kind of the glue is ready to dry. We're going to take a craft stick and then we're going to mark six even spaces on the craft stick. So we're going to take two craft sticks. Two, 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 two. Okay. So then we take our ruler. We're going to make six little marks with a pencil and make sure that they're equally spaced. So we're going to space the, um, six marks half an inch um, apart on the craft stick. So, and then this is how you start in one and three quarters inch. Can we see that? Here, I'll hold it up closer to the center. Okay. So we've got a six inch craft stick. We're gonna um, do six equal Mark. So we'll start at one and three quarters, and then two and three quarters, two and a quarter. Oops. Two and three quarters, three and a quarter, until we get six. That should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that, and then we'll do it to the next one too. One and three, four. Two and a four. Two and three, four. Three and one, four. Three and three quarters. And four and a quarter. Okay. Okay. So we've got our two craft sticks that are marked. This, the, those spots are where we're going to glue the string of the marbles. Okay. So we're going to take one craft stick. These seem to be all, um, all the glue is all nice and hard and hardened. So they're ready to go. So we're going to take, this is where the tape comes in. We're going to use tape, not um, glue, hot glue. We're going to tape them. So each of the little strings lines up with the mark that we made. And just take a little piece of tape. Sorry, let me work over here so you can see the camera better. Okay. Just take the end of it to your stick. More piece of tape. It's okay if the tape's hanging off the craft stick. That's okay. And if you want to make a pattern, you can do that.
You can always cut off the tape that's hanging off the end later if you want, but you can just leave it the way it is for now. Okay, we got them all taped on. I'm just going to take some of the, there's still a little bit of um, glue on. So we're going to take our, <laughs> we're going to glue the craft, the craft stick with the taped marbles on now. Okay, oh, this way. See where the two sticks come together right here? That's where we're gluing it there and here, like that. This is very wobbly. I hope it's going to work <laughs> since I made it a little bit. You know what I could do is I can take two craft sticks underneath and I can make it level. That will help with the leveling. I'll do that. Okay, bear with me. I'm just doing a little bit of correction on my experiment today, on my project. Okay, there, that's better. Not wobbling as much. Okay, so we're gonna take our um, taped marble strings and we're going to glue it to the top right here. So you kind of hold, to hold it over, bring it down. Let's put some, you know, I'm running out. I'm running out of glue stick. Glue. So I'm gonna add another glue stick to my, all right, here we go. A bunch of glue there, big thing of glue there, and then we're going to gently lower and glue it on. And then just hold it down for maybe 10 seconds. Okay. So we're going to turn it around, and then we're going to glue this other stick that we put the marks on to this side. It's kind of like lined up. Okay. Hold that down a little bit. Looks like it's good. Okay. And then we take the loose ends of each string and then tape it to this side, just like we did to the other side. Okay. So you want to move the string around to make sure the mar marbles line up with each other. Okay. They must line up. Um, horizontally and vertically, so they have to be in a straight line. Okay, so grab your tape. I'm going to turn mine this way. It's easier for me to tape it this way. And then we're going to tape it like that. The thing that's nice with the tape is we can adjust it. You can always untape it and adjust it. With, if we glued it down, it would be a little bit harder to make adjustments. So that's the nice part about using tape right here. And I know we're getting close. We're almost done. We're getting close to the end of our program. We're going to go a little bit over time today. Okay, so this one doesn't line up too much, but then I'll correct it on the other side. So we want it to be kind of like up like that. So I'll make a correction on the other side. There, that's better. Cool. So a lot of trial and error with the Newton's cradle. Okay, just like a lot of science projects that we do. Okay. Sorry, my hand is blocking that. There. This one. Okay, that's 
close enough. I might, I think I'm gonna lift it a little bit more on this side. Okay, next one. And then last one. Oh, that one needs to be corrected on the other side too. Okay, so let me tape it down. And then I have to bring it up on this side a little bit more. Okay, there. Cool. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm going to move my other one out of the way so that you all can see it from a side angle. We've got a side view camera today. So that's what it looks like. You can see my little wobbly. So they're all lined up horizontally, right? And they have, they should be lined up vertically too. So all of them um, are touching and in a straight line. Okay, let's test our experiment, our project, and see if it works. Does it work? Let's see. Pull it back, then you pull it back. Pretty cool. It does work. A little bit wobbly. <gasps> Try again. See how the blue one goes way up high and then it comes back down again and then the momentum travels through all of these marbles back to the orange one and the orange one goes up a little. Not as much because the momentum has been kind of dissipated by then. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, pull cool. one of yours on the other side. Does the same thing happen to the other side? Yeah, the collision, the force of the collision is going all the way through to the other side. Pretty cool. You just made a Newton's cradle. How cool is that? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Christine, on Saturday. We had such fun, so much fun. Uh, remember, Steam on Saturday is every first Saturday of the month. Go ahead to our uh, virtual events calendar and you can look at the event and then look at the items that you need to bring. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great Saturday and see you next time at Steam Lab Saturday. Bye.